Hello everybody today, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well. We will continue with our lesson energy transfer in collision. First we'll talk about energy transfer in elastic collision. The first question that we need to understand is what is actually energy transfer? Energy transfer is the movement of energy from one object to another. Newton's cradle is a toy that shows how energy can be transferred. When we, for example, pull one ball up and release it, it will collide with the other balls. And because of this collision will happen, the ball on the opposite end will swing out. Then the ball swings back uh, at the other balls. And this, is, this causes the first ball to swing out. So you can see clearly that energy is transferred from the first ball to the last and then back again because of collisions. This cradle of Newton, it can be used to demonstrate to show up an elastic collision. Elastic collision, there is no loss of kinetic energy from the system. A system uh, is a group of connected parts that make up a whole. For example, here the system is the colliding balls. So you can see that these colliding balls there is no loss of kinetic energy from the system. This, the kinetic energy transfers from one ball to another ball. On the other hand, we also have examples of energy transforming. That means energy is changing from one form to another form. Let us take example of this car which is hitting a brick wall. The kinetic energy of the car is reduced to zero but some of the kinetic energy it is transformed into sound and heat. This is an example of inelastic collision. In inelastic collision, some of the kinetic energy of the colliding objects is transformed into another types of energy.